The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Can we talk? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Gosh, no, Captain. I aim to stay so long as I'm welcome. I figured June Lei and I could confabulate over wireless or by message. And maybe when we put into Groundbreaker, I could stop by to visit her sometimes. But only when you don't need me with you. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Don't mind the heat. Got a few days before it reaches critical. I'm sure Miss Chief Tennyson will get it sorted before then. Smells like grease and unwashed bodies, just as I remembered. That's not the point. This hat would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. Get you with me again, you little back bay brat. I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. I need a drink. Just arrived? Head over to customs. Wheeler needs to process you. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. Yeah, because I knocked my foreman out with a tossball stick. But, to be fair, I wasn't the one who started it. The guy was insulting my Rizzo's Rangers. Look, if it's a crime to defend your favorite tossball team against slander and calumny, well then lock me right up. Only the finest group of tossball players ever to take the field. He's a spacer's chosen man though. So when the chosen beat my Rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting
Exactly. I was only doing what any self-respecting Rangers fan would have done. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Oh, just musing is all. Must be nice having the run of the colony. Never being anchored to one place, always chasing some horizon. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. See you around, boss. Just arrived? Head over to customs. Wheeler needs to process you. Mechanicals all over, but they still got us sweating. Customs and inspection, right this way! Identification, please. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Not gonna lie, you're in a pickle. But uh, Udom's an uh, interesting guy. Might be you all could come to accords if you play your cards right. Huh. Records show this ain't the first time your ship's been impounded. Seems to get cleared up pretty quick. You might not be in this pickle for long. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Ah, a handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board. That is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. No kidding? I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. Happy to help. That's my job, after all. You're real good at it, too. Well, thank you, miss. It's nice to be recognized. Yep. Can we move this along? I have a certain, uh, matter I'd like to attend to, Captain.
Are you pulling my leg? It goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the Board. Yep, Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing bays. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Sitting around drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing a few years before her sister ship, the Hope. Once everybody'd been de-thawed and dropped dirt side, the original crew of the Groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start of our independent spirit. Now, here we are. Glad to help. They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts, there's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. Relative to the board holdings? Not really. But there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich, but they aren't likely to look too close at your work history either. All right. He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they gotta depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. You sure you didn't just step off one of the interstellar freighters? There's no working with the board. They don't share, not bits, people, or resources. You work for them, or you don't work at all. Groundbreaker cooperating now would be tantamount to joining their ranks, and we sure as shit ain't about to do that. Sounds like, yeah. But from where I sit, it's all coming through loud and clear. They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Sure thing. Be seeing you. This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew ch I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. 
No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You were hearing things. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice. Then his name was Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. Who told you that? Graham? Asshole. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for your protection. Canyons of acid and sulfur rain are the least of the horrors plaguing the surface of Monarch. Anarchists live as one with the animals, lawless, savage. I don't have time for this. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. time for this bless my heart a stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door you here for a particular reason or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are made without a single natural ingredient or an oven just like store-bought Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light on his feet. Real light in the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Laws. Maybe I should charge you double. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... more of flexibility. Might be this could help out the Groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Do you know Edna? over an engineering. Sweet as a pea, that one. 
On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway, and Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Edna didn't seem to think so, and I trust the dear girl's judgment. Well, maybe not in men, but she knows her comms. So like as not, someone's been down there recently. And if someone set up shop in Roseway, I'd wager they got something to hide. Maybe whatever they're hiding went to heck, and now they need a few spare hands to clean up the mess. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. My goodness, aren't you quick on the uptake? I like that. Should you find yourself responding to a certain distress call, and in so doing find yourself in possession of certain valuable corporate secrets, well, then we ought to have a chat over a pot of tea and my famous cookies. Law bless your atoms. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. Are you listening to me, Emperor? Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. 
Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are sports property. I'm just gonna hang in the back and just try not to touch anything. We ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? This is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Ah, oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? No! How dreadful. That was always Alex's greatest fear, you know. Devoured by those fiends. Becoming one with their... their droppings. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there. I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? That's... Well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... well, it's my white whale, I suppose. It's fine. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work. Be my guest. Good law! Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? No. Emphatically no. Unequivocally no. Immutably no. I'm the certified representative of the board's interests here on the Groundbreaker. I'm their eyes, ears, and busy little hands. I have few complaints. A luxury stateroom, reserved for Chairman Rockwell's use. Oh, good law, of course not. He'd never set foot on this decrepit junk pile. 
As this office is the primary embassy for the board on Groundbreaker, corporate bylaws specifically state a room must be maintained for the chairman's exclusive use. Oh, you've noticed my friends. Wonderful. Aren't their guns very large? Tremendously impressive. They're here to keep the peace, of course. Precisely. Groundbreaker makes much ado about its independent status and so resents any board presence, no matter how benign. Hearty greeting, potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's Kitchen, a home-style consumable protein dispensary. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. This unit would clarify, there is a dent mechanic in the kitchen. User error in the maintenance of this unit's cutlery engaged several systems at once. The slicer, the grinder, the tenderizer. This unit behaves precisely as it was engineered. Neither this unit nor its corporate proprietor claim any responsibility for the mess. This unit is not designated for cleaning duties and cannot be compelled to accept another unit's responsibilities. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of your terrorist. This is oh, those XF 411s? And an old Yakita 37? Thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sub level. I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. Junlei Tennyson. 
I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. No, it isn't. It's a mess, but it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power, and they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. I like to think of myself as a nice person, but if that gaudy embassy of his was on fire, I might hold my breath a moment before activating the sprinkler system. The board wants control over Groundbreaker, and leeches like Udom Bedford will do anything to please their corporate masters. I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. You've got my attention. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Sorry, I forget not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. Mardits are descended from the original Marine Detachment that crossed the Void with Groundbreaker. I don't put their lives on the line if I can avoid it. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Speak your mind. Honestly, I could use the distraction. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual 
real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Wow, great! I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your, your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life-or-death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gaying, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from Chief Engineer to Captain. We must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Appreciate it. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job, but the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennysons know about. I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. I gelded that thing years ago. Now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. You've got my attention. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your record. You been flying the outer system's route lately? Deader than a space manipulator out there. Traffic's down all over. Even the inners are holding on to their manufacture. Exports are way down. I know one crew, their skip drive burned out. Couldn't get a new one for love nor money. Rizzo's purpleberry fudge. Soft, hard, candy around the Purpleberry flavored center. Suck it, chew it, you can do it.
Looking sharp. Hey, you got a second? Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. 
I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. You're serious, you're giving me a shot. All right, uh, hang on, hang on. I put together a little speech, just in case you asked. Hey there, I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. No, 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 wait, let me finish. I wrote this down and everything. Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> Sorry. He's funny. Uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. In conclusion, thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to our adventures together. I thought that was real good, Felix. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you think? Am I in? The fun kind? I mean, what else do you do when you got a ship of your own? Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is gonna be great. Really? We're picking up strays now? Look at that. A real vicar. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get along like a church on fire. Back for a rest? Space adventuring is tiring work. Oh, excuse me. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. When she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. When folks start implying you're a little different from an auto-mechanical, 
you start to wonder. I guess I just needed to talk. I'm feeling a touch better. Thanks for hearing me out, Captain. I actually had another message from Junlei, I just... couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... who's Isabel? They were... close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. I don't know. Junlei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost Hope? Maybe for you. I start thinking about all the things she could say and my guts start crawling up my throat. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there.